Alright guys, 56th Objective C tutorial, and this is actually our last tutorial on mutable strings for now. And what I did, if you couldn't tell from the old tutorial, is I deleted everything except uh, when we created our dog mute. And I actually set mute equal to dog, you know, just like before and printed it out. So all I have so far on our console is hot dog, I thought you said pumpkin, a mutable string so pretty cool so now with that being said I can begin teaching you new stuff now the first thing I want to teach you to do is I mean we already learned how to create a mutable string from an unmutable string but what if you just want to create a mutable string from nothing just set it equal to you know anything well anytime you want to just you know create a plain old mutable string just go ahead and put mute and just go put put set string and then you just set it equal to whatever you want pretty easy so let's go ahead and type in let's be like I am a new string mofo mogo muggle I am a new string mofo so yeah that's uh that's looking pretty good so now we got a new string so now let's go ahead and print this out and uh let's see if this runs so here's our old string hot dog it a pumpkin and now I'm a new string mofo you know it's a little harsh but you know get it gets the point across so what can we do after this well the one thing I want to teach you guys is how to replace a range of characters so say instead of uh, I'm a new string mofo just be like I'm a new mother or something so let's go ahead and call the method mute place characters and range look at that and ns make range and our range is let's see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 one, all right so our coordinates are 11 12 and remember it's where you want to start and how many you're on to replace and for the replace with string is what do you want to replace it with so let's just go ahead and put mother that yeah, looks good nice and simple so now it what it did is it took the string mofo and it replaced it with mother and let's put an explanation point because you know I'm a new mother this is a big moment in our lives it was the biggest moment in my life at least so I might give birth to my kid for my first time anyways let's build around this and see what we got so now instead of I'm a new string mofo it says I'm a new mother see it's a little less harsh and a little more inspirational and that's what I'm trying to do inspire you guys so the last thing I'm gonna do is inspire you guys to show you how to replace old characters with new characters so you're saying alright we already learned how to replace characters in a range but we want our computer program to automatically sift through I mean we don't want to have to figure out the range every time we want our computer program to be able to sift through any string we give it search for the first instance of mother and replace it with something else like baby seal or something like that so this kind of gets rid of the fact that we have to sift through and find 11 12 keep counting every time so check this out and you'll see what I'm talking about the first thing we have to do is ns string create a new string object and this is going to store the old stuff that we want to replace and we want to replace mother make sure I spell them both right or else it won't work and string go ahead and make a new object and yeah I'm going to name it new and now here is going to store what we want to replace it with and I want to replace mother with baby seal you don't have to name it old and new I'm just uh, making it simple so I can show you guys so ns range the range just like that and this is going to store the range but check this out you don't have to actually calculate the range by hand although you could all you have to do is this in your mute your mutable string put range of string and then go ahead and as a parameter pass in old and it'll automatically calculate the range for this how awesome is that? That's one of the coolest things we learned so far. So this automatically gives us the range where old is and it stores it in the range. So we don't have to count anymore and figure out these coordinates 
it figures it out for us. So now all we have to do now that we have that range and all the information we need, go ahead and call this method. So on your mutable string, you want to replace characters in range, and now you have to give it what range, in case you have a bunch of them, the range that it calculated for us, and it says, all right, what do you want to replace it with? And all we want to do is take that old character that was in that range, and we want to replace it with a new. So pretty much says, replace characters in the old range with the new range, which was baby seal. Pretty cool. So now that's all we have to do. Now I'll go ahead, copy and print this stuff out and run it. And hopefully this worked. Yep, check it out. It was I am a new mother, and now it says I am a new baby seal. So what it did is it automatically calculated the mother what the range of this was, automatically took it out, automatically replaced it. Everything's going on automatically here. What do we even do in program this stuff for? If everything's happening automatically. Ah, oh, see, now I'm out of breath, and uh, I'm going to go get my inhaler and take a break, maybe take a nap, because that was a long tutorial. We had a lot to learn. So I'm going to comment in this and make it easier to understand, and I'm going to go ahead and post it in the link below if you want to go get it. So I uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, yeah, make sure to check out the next tutorial. It is going to be awesome. Trust me.